Buenas noches. Buenas noches, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Bien, Buenas noches. gracias a Dios. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Vaya. Aquí les acabo de copiar una imagen. Adverbs of frequency. Ese va a ser el tema del día de ahora. Adverbs of frequency. Y to talk about to talk about food. Okay? Adverbs of frequency to talk about food. That's going to be basically the topic for today's lesson. All right? Hi Oswaldo. You're driving. Yes, I'm driving. It's okay. Be careful, all right? Okay. All right. So, um adverbs of frequency to talk about food. Yesterday, we were talking about food that we like and food that we dislike. Is that correct? So let's go ahead and uh, make a review. Right now, what I want you to give me is a list of healthy food and a list of unhealthy food. Unhealthy food. You can write it down on your notebooks if you wish. And we also are going to talk about healthy drinks, okay, and unhealthy drinks. Do you know what the meaning of healthy is? Exactly. Saludable, no saludable. Okay. Now, let's talk about healthy food. I want you to raise your hands first. Give me a list of or all the vocabulary that you remember about healthy food. I'm going to start. For me, healthy food will be meat sometimes, but there are some other people that they don't eat meat because they say that it's unhealthy. But for me, it's healthy. It makes me feel good. I feel uh, strong, etc. But of course, you need to eat meat in a small quantity, all right? Because if you eat a lot of meat, like every day, it's going to be very unhealthy. So you need to eat meat in small portions, let's say. Okay, so I gave you one example about unhealthy food, but I want you to raise your hands. You, Of course, you have the icon right there on Zoom that you can use in order to um, ask for participation. Then I'm going to give you the opportunity. Okay, so I gave you one example. I want to listen to some of you talking. Healthy food, healthy food, and then we are going to move to unhealthy food. Okay, volunteers. Okay, entre más participemos, más rápido pasa la hora. Y aprovechamos más el tiempo. Okay, healthy food. Catherine. Healthy food. Okay, and I think that healthy food is, for example, vegetable and fruit, but in a small uh, portion. Portion. Because, um, I think this is my opinion. Okay. How about unhealthy food? Mm, unhealthy food can be that junk food, for example, pizza, fried chicken, and fried chips. Mm -hmm. And when I eat a lot of candies, it's dangerous for my health. For your health, it's dangerous. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, let You're me move welcome. the phone here. Uh, let's see, Julio, healthy food and unhealthy food. Um, uh, healthy food, healthy food, mm -hmm. maybe for 
I see um, uh, fish uh, mm -hmm. best uh, the pronunciation I forget it back back to school um uh, uh, <laughs> the, um, the other the bad food or health healthy healthy food mm -hmm. healthy uh, it is it is hamburgers uh pizza um the food trash. <laughs> okay, junk uh, food. Uh, junk, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Only. Wilbur, healthy and unhealthy food. Teacher, hay unas cosas que no mucho las logro entender. Mm, for mm -hmm. example? Me quedo un poquito... Ah, uh, como uh, que significa healthy food. Uh, healthy food, food. Yeah, sí, pero, pero healthy. Uh -huh. Comida saludable y no saludable. Healthy food and unhealthy food. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces sería um, healthy food chicken. Ok. Yeah. Fish and, and, and Vegetales, ¿cómo se dice? Vegetables. Veg, uh -huh. Y Full los... Beach. Vegetables. Veg, vegetables. Uh -huh. Ok. Y los... ¿Cómo me dijo que se decía la, lo otro? Unhealthy. 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 Uh -huh. uh, pizza. Yep. Y... Uh, no sé, no, no sé, me ocurre otra cosa más. Mis, uh, uh, you can say pizza, donuts, from the Mr. Donut. Ok. Those okay. are unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, Nidia, healthy and unhealthy. Uh, healthy people, um, meal, el, fish. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, unhealthy food, hot dog, mm -hmm. pizza, hamburger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Consuelo, healthy food and unhealthy food. And Oswaldo, um, if you would like to participate, you can also give me your opinion. First, okay, Consuelo. Um, healthy food. Mm -hmm. Vegetable and fruit. Mm -hmm. um, and healthy food, pizza, don, uh, donuts, así sería. Donuts and burgers. Ok. Thank you. Y, um, bueno, y la right. bebida. Uh, we're going to move to drinks later. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oswaldo. I like uh, eat healthy food, mm -hmm. like uh, vegetables and fruits and cereals. Yep. But I like uh, to eat uh, two uh, hamburgers, um, pizza. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are delicious, but they are unhealthy food. They are unhealthy. Okay, it's okay to to eat them once in a while, not like every single day. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, thank you. Now let's move to healthy drinks and unhealthy drinks. Let's see, I'm going to ask Gabriela, healthy drinks and unhealthy drinks, and then Yarixa. Um, healthy food, uh, baseball, um, unhealthy, unhealthy food, este, pizza, hamburger, soda, y donut. Okay. And thank you for the food, but I need drinks, healthy drinks and unhealthy drinks. Okay. Uh-huh. 
me dijo um, healthy food drinks. Ok. Eh, soda, este... No sé cómo se dicen jugos, pero que son envasados. Que vienen sellados. En botes. En hand juice. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, Yarixa. Yes. Okay. What is the the trying to say? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Is the healthy drinks or healthy drinks and unhealthy drinks? Okay, the healthy drinks will be water. The unhealthy mm -hmm. will be the soda, alcohol, and uh the health will be natural juice like the orange juice okay and the other one i think that will be like the um, gatorade mm, okay like some energetic drinks can be unhealthy, okay? Like Red Bulls, what's the Monster. other one? Monsters, those are unhealthy. Soda, eh, unnatural uses. Now, Jenny, mm -hmm. healthy and unhealthy drinks. Uh -huh. Water. Water. Um, uh, with nat natural. Natural use. Natural use. Mm -hmm. And el otro um, soda. Mm -hmm. um, natural yeah. use. Mm -hmm. Uh, soda, um, energetic drinks, uh -huh, soda, alcohol, alcohol, thank you for mentioning, okay, beers, those are unhealthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Now, guys, thank you for participating. We're going to move to the specific topic, which is adverse of frequency. However, Let's go ahead and work with the platform, all right? With the platform, let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. Can you see my computer's screen or not yet? Yes, I can see. Okay, yesterday we were uh, studying the use of countable and uncountables. Uh, related to food. And now it says, complete the conversation with some or any instructions. Uh, there you have, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Remember that any, you can use for a countable and uncountables, the same as some. All right, so let's see. Uh, Nidia, continue with the first one. The store doesn't have any potato salad. And Adam says, well. Okay, Nidia. We have lots of the potatoes. Let's make some. Thank you. Continue, Catherine. Amanda, okay. Okay, and Amanda, okay, do we have any Mayonnaise. Okay. Thank you. Julio, next. Uh, no, we need to buy some. Thank you. Uh, Wilbert, continue. Uh, 
Uh, Amanda needs some onions. Onions too. We need some onions too. Okay. Oswaldo, continue. Uh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Thank okay. you. Continue, uh, Yarixa. Yarixa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let me... Amanda, then let's get. Oh. Let's get some. Celery. Some celery. Thank you. Anna. Uh, Julia. Hi, teacher. Uh, yo hasta ahora me estoy incorporando porque tenía inconvenientes con mi madre. Hasta el día de anoche he regresado a mi casa y pues alguien me llamó y yo les manifestaba que estaba ausente y para mí pues ahorita es como empezar, pero ya me pondré al día con todo. Ok, eso me extrañaba porque tengo a Julio, pero no había escuchado a Julia. Aquí Entonces... estoy. <risa> Vaya, eh, póngase al día con la plataforma, los videos se están subiendo, ¿tiene el link de los videos? Sí, teacher, los tengo. Ah, ok, entonces vea uno por uno para que se ponga el día y así va completando. Cualquier Primero duda, Dios. consulta que tenga, solo me lo hace saber y con gusto le ayudo. Gracias, eh, Liz. Teacher. No leo la oración, teacher, no la veo. Ah, sorry, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Adam. Uh -huh. Continue, Liz. Para mí, Harry. Mm -hmm. Es que no leo la oración, no la, no, la, no la veo completa, por eso. Ah, ok. Consuelo. La misma, teacher. Mm -hmm. Adam, do, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Thank you. Ana Esmeralda. Uh -huh. Gabriela. Uh, Adam, but let put some apples in it. Son apples in it. Okay. Okay, let's check the answers. Hey, great job. 33. You got 100. Now, let's move to the lesson objective. Julia, mm -hmm. read the lesson objective, please. Si no están usando el, el micrófono, desactiven. Julia. Sí, teacher. Eh, help Ahorita. me with the lesson objective. Ah, Ahorita igual estoy en la luna, teacher, porque no he visto ningún video. Mm. Solo estoy ahora como poniéndome más o menos en qué van y luego pues yo repaso los videos. It's okay. Uh, Lizeth. Okay, teacher. By the end of this class, you will learn about common foods in the foreign country. Hmm. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural difference in food. Okay. Thank you. Let's listen to this conversation.
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what I don't see in the, US, the video. Canada, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, uh, can you listen to the video and see it? Yes, I listen. I see it too, but um, uh, uh, start no, no see it. Okay, at the beginning I couldn't see it. Thank you. Yes. The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee, jam, jelly. Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea. Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit. Sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Imagínense com comiendo un desayuno en Japón, no siente como que estoy en el almuerzo. Sí. sí. Sopa y pescado. Sopa pescado. Bueno, y interesting. <laughs> interesting. Parece que son bien inteligentes. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and share the conversation and I need some volunteers. I'm going to stop sharing. Volunteers, I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Who are ready? I am ready. Go ahead. And Lizeth. So, Julio and Lizeth. Okay. Um, so, let Sara, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Permite, permíteme, Julio. Está cargando. Okay, come to ha my house. My family always has a happens, Japan. ¿Cómo se pronuncia el teacher, perdón? Japan. Japan still breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, um, soup. Fish for breakfast? That's a steady thing. Sometimes we have a salad too. Um, we and we uh, always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for the breakfast, but I like to try new things. Thing. Okay. Okay, thank you. Two more volunteers. Flor de Maria and Carla Susana. Can we sit together on Sunday? 
Okay, so to my host, my father always. <laughs> Ok, Ready. los que no están usando el, el micrófono pueden desactivarlo. Really, what do you have? We usually have fish fry. Fish to breakfast. Guys, instead is. Oswaldo, turn your microphone off. Ok, thank you. Sometimes. Ok, Carla en Flor, one more time. Let's, let's have breakfast together of Sunday. Comenzar de nuevo, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Ok, con tu mic. Has. I'll have on style big facts on Sunday. Well, what do you have? We usually have fish. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, guys. Turn your camera. I mean, your microphone off. Well, I never eat fried breakfast, but I like to try new things. Things. Thank you. Okay. Let's continue. No sé en dónde están o, o, o dónde se encuentran o qué están haciendo, pero se escuchaba un ruido como cuando estás en una, en un, en una clínica dental. Así se escucha. Ok. Thank you, guys. A veces, a veces son los micrófonos, teachers, los audífonos. Los que hacen ese ruido. Ah, mm -hmm. ok. Sí. Sí. Ok. Uh, let's continue. Let's see. Adverse of frequency. I want you to take notes, guys. I'm going to play this video. And once you can listen to the video, let me know. Can you listen to the video or not yet? No, yet. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Ahora sí. Verbs of frequency. I always... Yes, I see. Uh... Yes, I usually yes, eat breakfast. Pero I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express 
that you never smoke cigarettes. Uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverse of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverse of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%, usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverse of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast with the adverb of frequency sometimes. You may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say I sometimes eat breakfast just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject and finally you may say the following I eat breakfast sometimes you can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence the last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, a verb have. Finally, we need to add a complement, fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own. I would like for you to think about food, particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and express how often you eat this type of food. For example, I always drink coffee for breakfast. 
uh, I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Thank you guys. Now, uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and share some expressions on the chat. I'm going to stop sharing. And let's see. For example, the first question that you need to ask, do you ever have for okay you can say do you ever do you ever have a fish for breakfast do you ever have milk for dinner do you ever have pupusas for lunch okay and if for example if i ask you do you ever have milk for dinner, and your answer is yes, I'm going to ask you how often do you have or do you drink, okay, milk? How often do you have or do you drink milk? With uh, that answer, you need to use the adverse of frequency. Let me share the PowerPoint presentation I brought to explain you a little bit about the you have here um, the adverse of frequencies and also you have the percentages, okay? So always is going to be 100%. Okay, usually it's going to be 90%. Normally or generally, it's going to be 80%. Often or frequently, it's going to be 70%. Sometimes it's going to be 50%. Occasionally, it's going to be 30%. Seldom is going to be 10%, rarely 5%, and never 0%. And you have here the examples. The first one, I always wake up at 6. I usually come home after work. I normally sing after school. I often spend Christmas with friends. I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. I occasionally eat Vietnamese food, or you have one example here with food. I seldom go to the library. I rarely listen to the radio, and I never listen to rock music. So put those frequency adverbs in practice using always. You can say, I always drink coffee in the morning, okay, 100%, okay? I usually eat uh, eggs for dinner. I generally uh, eat rice for lunch. I often eat pupusas at dinner time. I sometimes drink milk. I occasionally drink tea. I seldom eat meat. I rarely eat vegetables. And you can also say, I never eat pastry. Do you know what the meaning of pastry? Oh, I, I, I don't 
No. Pestry, if I'm not mistaken, this is the spelling, but I'm going to find it out. Pestry es pan dulce, no sweet bread. Pestry in general, pan dulce, pestry. Don't say sweet bread, okay? That's pastry, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go ahead and find the spelling. Give me one minute. I'm going to Google it. Just the spelling, pastry. Actually it's loading. Okay, if you can find it, let me know. But that's pastry, all right, in general. Now, let me go ahead and uh, ask you some questions. Let's see, the first person is going to be Catherine. Uh, do you ever have fish? for breakfast? I never have fish for breakfast. How often do you eat fish? Um, I normally eat fish on Sunday. On Sunday? Uh, at, in my lunch. At yes. lunch, okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Now, Nidia, ask the question to one of your classmates. Remember that you can say, how often do you how or how, how often do you eat? Uh, Alicet Alvarado. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have eat chicken in the breakfast? Do you ever have eat or do you do you ever have? Puedo do utilizar, you ever... do you ever have or do you ever eat? Pero no las dos juntas. Do you ever have chicken for the... For breakfast. breakfast? I never eat instead chicken in breakfast. For breakfast. Okay. Ahora la segunda pregunta, how often do you eat chicken? 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 Yeah. Uh, no, no. I know. I not eat chicken. I never eat chicken. You need to never. use the frequency of adverbs. Okay. Adverbs of frequency. I never eat chicken. I sometimes eat chicken. I sometimes eat chicken. Okay. Thank you. Ah, pues así se escribe pastry, así como se los escribí. Pastry es en, en, in general, en general, pastry. Es pan dulce, pero no sweet bread. Eso es más españolizado. No sé por qué en el video lo dijeron eh, sweet bread, pero normalmente dice pastry. Ok, no van a decir peste, ¿verdad? Pastry. Ok, Lizeth, select one of your classmates. Ask a question using do you ever have and how often do you have or drink? Uh, hello, Julio. Julio. Okay, Julio. Julio. Uh, how often do you do you eat pizza breakfast? How often do you eat pizza no. for breakfast? I don't. I don't eat. Excuse me, I have some, but 
Okay, Lizeth, select another one, another person. Okay, do you ever eat pizza at, at lunch? Pero a quién le estás preguntando? Necesitas elegir una persona. Ah, pensé que a Julio. Bueno, entonces a Catherine. Catherine. Catherine, do you ever eat pizza at lunch? Yes, um, I usually eat pizza at lunch. Ok. okay. Ahora okay. la segunda pregunta, how often do you eat pizza? How often, how often do you do you eat pizza? Um, I think that twice in a week. Pero tiene que usar el adverb frequency. Okay. Um, I usually eat pizza twice in a week. Twice a week. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, Catherine, select one classmate. Let me see. And Oswaldo. Oswaldo. Hi. Do you ever eat fish at the dinner? No, I don't. I don't okay. eat fish at dinner. Okay. Do you have... How often do you eat fish at fish how often do you eat fish i never eat fish fish at dinner no but uh, in any other time how often do you eat fish ah okay i i usually eat fish once a week thank you Oswaldo, select one classmate. Uh, Julio? Julio? Say me, say me. Do you eat hamburgers? No, do you ever have hamburger for dinner? Do you ever have hamburgers for breakfast? Mm -hmm. No. I don't not eat. No, I don't. Hamburger. No, I don't eat hamburger in the breakfast. How often do you eat hamburgers? In other time. I often eat hamburger only week. Okay, once a week. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Jarixa, select one classmate. Let me see here. Uh, Ana Esmeralda. Ana Esmeralda. Select another one. Okay. Eh, Julia Guzmán. Ella se acaba de incorporar. Elija a alguien más. Ah, ok. Nidia. Eh, Nidia. Ajá, Nidia. ¿Quién me va a preguntar? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, do you ever have Coca-Cola for breakfast? No, I don't Coca-Cola in the breakfast. I don't drink or I don't have Coca-Cola for breakfast. And how often do you drink Coca-Cola? Or Coke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hardly ever. I don't. 
No. I hardly ever drink Coke. I hardly ever drink Coca. Ok. Ajá, y la vamos a ver en el desayuno con gran garrafón, así. No. no, fíjense que hablando de café y de, y de coca, mi, este, la familia de mi mamá, por Dios, si es que toman café en el desayuno, almuerzo y cena, y la soda no les falta, pero nunca los van a ver con una su botella con agua. No les voy a mostrar la marca, pero miren la botellón. Yo que casi nunca. ¿Ves? ¿La pueden ver? Yo casi nunca, ni café. Me tomo dos de esas y traen litro y medio. Son tres litros al día. Ajá. Pero el, a la familia de mi mamá no la van a ver con una botella jamás. Así que, sí, así conozco mucha gente. Ya me los imaginé a ustedes. El gran garrafón de soda. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for participating. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen one more time. And if you can see it, let me know, please. Yes, I can. Okay. Thank you. Those were the adverse of frequency. And it says, instructions, unscramble the sentences, write each sentence in the correct order. Okay, we have three sentences. Who wants to try the first one? You can use your notebook, okay, to write it down. And once you have the right sentence, let me know. Okay, Carla is ready. Uh, I hardly. Mm -hmm. uh, I will eat snack out to work. I hardly ever eat a snack out at work. At work. Mm -hmm. Who wants to try the number two? Number two. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's fast for dinner. Pasta for dinner. Okay. And the last one. Mm -hmm. I often have. Mm -hmm. Dinner with um, my family. With my family. Okay, thank you. Now let's see the answer. Hey, great. You have 100. Awesome. Okay, good job. Remember that you are going to complete those exercises online by yourself. Okay, now let's use the chat. I want you to write down sentences using the adverse of frequency. Okay, we are going to uh, try to do it uh, during the last five minutes. Uh-huh. Okay, who's ready? Guys, okay. 
Okay, let me start with the first sentence. I never eat, let's see, pacaya, for example. So Kathy, Catherine says, I usually walk in the morning. Okay, it's all right, but let's talk about food. You can also say, I sometimes, I sometimes drink Coke. Okay. Lizeth says, I sometimes eat late. I never drink beers, this is Catherine. Lord, I never drive at night. Okay. Carla, I never eat pepino. Okay. Gabriela, I never eat flor de sote. <laughs> it's so delicious. I like it. Nidia, I sometimes eat breakfast. I usually walk 12 blocks. A muchos no les gusta las cosas, la flor de sote, pa calle, todo ese rollo. Y a mí me gusta todo. Las I like, I like flor de sote. Mm, no las han probado. Ya me dio hambre. Teacher, uh -huh. A mí no me gusta la pa calle. <ríe> Pero sí me gusta la flor de sote. Mm, es que miren, le pican, le pican loroco. Con, Consuelo says, I never eat chicken for breakfast. Flor, I sometimes eat, eat ice cream. Vale, pican loroco al quesillo, ¿verdad? Pero quesillo especial, no del de Acora. Entonces, y le ponen, miren, a las pacayas alcochadas y las envuelven con huevo. Y salsita bien rica, bien preparada. No, hombre, eso es delicioso. Jenny says, I sometimes eat pupus. Es que depende cómo se las preparen. Así es como se siente el sabor, porque hay unas que son bien desabridas, ¿va? Pero si las preparan, las saben preparar, son ricas. Les recomiendo las tortas de loroco. Riquísimas. Envueltas en huevo. Mm. Se me hace agua la saliva. Ana says, I never eat beef. Oswaldo, I sometimes eat shrimps. Ok. Una mariscada, Oswaldo. Tengo una de mariscada, ya me acordé. I sometimes eat Tortas de Loroco, dice Gabriela. Ok. Continue. Eh, Lizeth, I sometimes eat fish at lunch. Wilbur, your examples. Julia, I never eat pizza. I'll, uh, I always eat chicken or fish. For lunch, says Quilber. Okay. Julia, I never eat pizza. Okay. Hablando de pizza, la que no sirve es Papa John's. No me gusta para nada. Nidia, I hardly ever drink coffee. Jenny, I never eat berenjena. Ok, no, hombre, la berenjena no la han probado bien preparada, como que es carne, bien rica se siente. Lizeth, I always eat pizza. I like berenjena así como asadita. Ajá, sudada. Sí, Asada hombre. con queso. Uh -huh. I never eat mariscada, dice Yaritza. I am hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry too. I never eat mariscada. I never drink mariscada, Yerixa. Es buena, que te pongan unos grandes shrimps, unos grandes camarones. Eh, Julio, I eat, I sometimes eat fish. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice los que hacen de las conchas? 
de las qué? De las conchas. Ah, cóctel. 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 I never cóctel de conchas. I never eat cocktail de conchas. Pues no es la gran Me cosa, too, la I verdad. don't like it. Yo lo he probado, pero no es así como que, ay, me voy a morir por comerme un cóctel, no. I sometimes eat camarón en salsa rosada. Ok. Ay, se never... tiene listo. I never eat cocktail de conchas. Tengan cuidado ahora con los mariscos crudos porque hay una bacteria que se come la carne. La carne de la persona. Y te morís. Ya hay varios casos en Estados Unidos. Lizeth, I never eat cocktail de conchas. Okay. All right. Thank you. Any other examples? Jenny, I always eat eggs for breakfast. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for participating. Thank you for your examples. And I'm going to give you one minute. Do you have any questions before letting you go? No questions. Vaya, entonces, si no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.